attorney is giving opening statements today in the case against former Michigan State University President Luana Simon. It's a preliminary hearing on the evidence against her. Attorney is battling over what Simon knew about allegations of sex abuse against Dr. Larry Nasser. Seven, seven investigator Ross Jones live outside the Eaton County District Court with the very latest. What's happening in court, Ross? And Marie, good afternoon. Luana Simon was once known for being Michigan State University's first female president, but if prosecutors get their way, she'll be the first MSU president to be convicted of a felony. Now, today's opening arguments could not have been more stark. Prosecutors for the attorney general claim that one of Simon's advisors, Paulette Granberry Russell, will testify that in 2014, she told Simon specifically that Nasser was the subject of a sexual assault complaint by an athlete. The prosecutor's office showed blown up emails and schedules, even handwritten notes that they say will bolster that testimony. But when it was the defense's turn, Simon's attorney said just the opposite is true, that the attorney general only pursued these charges out of political motivation during that contentious governor's race, and that any witness claiming Simon was told Nasser's name sooner than 2016 is lying. Great institutions, like great people, have to do more than look good. They have to be good. They have to choose to do good. And that didn't happen here. Since 2005, the image of MSU and the defendant have been linked together with an unbreakable bond. That's when she took over as president of MSU. When MSU looks good, the defendant looks good. The amount of lying that's been done is overwhelming, but not by Luana Simon, but by the prosecution and the detectives. Now, it is unusual during opening arguments to hear from any witnesses, but we heard from a witness today, Amanda Tomashaw. She is the individual who filed this complaint against Nasser that led us to where we are today, the complaint that ultimately led to meetings with Simon, according to prosecutors, where she was told information that Tomashaw relayed to MSU's attorneys. Now, this hearing is going to actually take a break, not until April will we, will we be back here at Eden County District Court. Both sides said they wanted more time to exchange evidence, so we're going to hit a pause button for a while, but we'll be back on April 8th. We're live in Charlotte. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Anne Marie. All right, Ross, thank you for that live report. We have learned the Nasser victim that Ross was just telling us about. Amanda Tomashow has been invited to attend tonight's State of the Union address. She'll be the guest of Congresswoman Alyssa Slothkin. Slothkin represents Michigan's 8th District, which covers northern Oakland, Livingston, and Ingham counties.